Hello everyone. In this video I am going to demonstrate a currency application which was recently published by Artful Bits. We will start from downloading a currency from Slide Me Market. And as a matter of fact you can do exactly the same thing with the Android market. We will search for a currency. And we can see right here at the top, we'll just agree and download it. And the device says that application is being downloaded. And now we can install it. Yep. After that, a currency should appear in the applications menu right here and at the first time a currency will ask us either to activate it or buy it and during the activation you will receive 30 days trial key and we will just activate it to see what it does it says activation succeeded and because it's a first launch a currency will ask us to uh, adjust two main options is the exchange rate providers which allows us to pick from three different exchange rate providers and the second one is whether a currency uh, should be forced to use only Wi-Fi network for uh, network communications we will just leave everything by default and this is the initial state of application and as you can see there is no exchange rates available at the moment but you can easily fix it by pressing menu and synchronize button at this moment a currency will trigger Yahoo Finance for exchange rates and they are right here uh, it shows exchange rates dynamics for today and also below that a currency shows four different currencies the first one is the base currency and it's used for all rates conversions you can change the base currency to anything you want and as well as you can change any of the dependent currencies it is really easy to select the currency you want you can either scroll down the available currencies list or just type currency name in the text box above and say at this point we'd like to select Canadian dollar currency Here is it. A currency shows exchange rates it uses right here at the bottom. And if for some reason you will need to change one of them, you can set it button. Well, let's go ahead and change the error rate and say we would like it to be um, 0.75. We can just go ahead and enter it. Okay, here we are. The error exchange rate was changed and the currency value was changed. At this moment, IE currency shows that the selected date is Monday, September 14th but you can easily change it to something else and find out what the exchange rates were for that date let's change it to September 11th and right now uh, change date button became red that's just because a currency does not have exchange rates for that date well it's not a problem because if you will synchronize for September 11th right now a currency will have these exchange rates well let's do this just press the synchronize again and a currency will ask Yahoo Finance to get the exchange rates for September 11th yep it's right here exchange rates were changed and you can select among them without needing to synchronize again and as you're done synchronizing you can use the calculator button at the right side of each currency to change its value and see how 
All other dependent currencies have changed according to exchange rates. Yep, it's right here. All other currencies have changed its values according to Canadian dollar. Let's go ahead and synchronize again. And as you can see, the Yahoo Finance is used as uh, exchange rate source. But if for some reason you are not happy with it, you can easily pick from two more providers. And let's for now select European Central Bank provider. And at this point you might have noticed that select date button has changed its color and that's because European Central Bank does not allow us to retrieve exchange dates other than for current date. That's why we go back to today, September 14, and synchronize. And you can see that the exchange rates will be changed because we've changed the exchange rate provider and you're free to switch bet between them to get the complete picture of the exchange rates on the market. Besides that, iCurrency offers statistical information for past 90 days. To see that, simply go to Charting tab, click on the Update Rates, iCurrency will download data and analyze it And yep, here we are. Our currency uses a chart to show statistical information. You can easily scroll back and forth. And we're right now we're zoomed to seven days. And you can zoom out up to 90 days to see the complete picture. Let's right now zoom to 30 days. Yep, right here. or to 90 days. And right here you can switch between currencies again. Um, say we'd like to see error to USD exchange statistics. We simply use the same drop-down menus to do that. Here we are. Uh, we can swap these two currencies that will turn chart upside down. IE currency allows us to change between four different chart types. You can switch either line, high, low, and close, candlestick, or step line. Uh, those two in the center are sophisticated financial chart types and this is how candlestick looks like and let's see how high low and close looks like yep this is it let's switch back to something more regular say a step line yep and let's just uh, play a little bit with the scrolling IE currency stores all data that you have downloaded but if you feel like you're running out of space just go to preferences and clear storage data. Yep, just like that. You're fresh and clean. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we're looking forward for your feedback at www.artfulbits.com.